My name is Suzanne Hoffman, and I am the Superintendent of Schools in Vancouver, and today is Wednesday, April the 1st, and the topic of today's message is about food. The Ministry of Education has asked that school districts continue to deliver food programs during these times. Our Board of Education has also said taking the care of those that are most at risk or vulnerable also be a priority. On any given day, the Vancouver School District feeds approximately 3,000 students across 57 different sites. So the challenge became, how could we continue to run those programs during very, very different times? The school district team was tasked with coming up with a plan that was to take place this past Monday. And whilst making that plan, keep in mind the very strict health and safety protocols that are in place the health and safety of our students and of our staff and of our communities is number one priority. But how do we keep that in mind whilst creating food, making food, delivering food, and handing out food at the various sites? So that was a lens that was put in place um, around food programs continuing. On Monday, we began distributing food to students. Our numbers were small, but on yesterday, they increased and there were more students that picked up food. So we are hopeful that that positive trajectory will continue. We'll also need to look at tweaking our delivery program um, because some students would take transit to school and we're finding that those students aren't taking transit to pick up one meal. So what might th that look like for those students? So whilst we have a program in place, it will continue to iterate. For the students that are vulnerable in our community, we need to nourish their bodies and take care of them. And by continuing this program, we truly hope that we will continue to lift their spirits, give them some hope, and let them know that the Vancouver School District and their communities uh, care deeply about them and will continue to take care of some of their basic needs. Thank you.